Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is not a story I ever expected to cover. No, no, uh, no. There is word on the street that Blockbuster Video is coming back. Yeah, our kids actually told us about this a couple of days ago. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it sounds bizarre. It sounds like why would anybody bring Blockbuster Video back? But in 2023, the most popular physical format for music is vinyl. I, I so believe it, because our kids are all into it. And they've been into it before it was cool. Yeah, so it is, it is very possible that they're gonna bring Blockbuster back. I mean, they had the last Blockbuster show. Uh, there is a, a Blockbuster, I guess, in Oregon, you know, that yeah. they were tweeting. They haven't tweeted anymore. They go out of business, I don't know. But, um, I, you know, I gotta tell you, I, I actually wouldn't mind Blockbuster coming back. Well, it just, it just makes sense, because we see all these TV shows from the 80s and 90s that are like have a resurgence, and our kids keep watching all these shows that were like from, you know, 20 years ago, and it's just, there were more, and it's just funny to me. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's funny, because I just saw a, a video making the rounds on Twitter uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, from the 90s, of, I think it was 1993, and they had people just coming and going oh, to Blockbuster. Oh, I saw that, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, coming and going to Blockbuster, and like, you don't understand if you weren't around then, or don't remember what it was like, like on the weekends, you would go to Blockbuster Video, everybody go to Blockbuster, whatever other video store. Friday night. Friday night, you would go find something, and for me, it was always like anime and video games. So I I remember very well in high school going to rent like Super Nintendo and N64 games. We could even rent the system. It wasn't Blockbuster. We had other ones, so we could rent the systems. Oh, ours rent the system, but they mm -hmm. came in like a hard case. Yeah, and you could rent the system yeah. and everything. Yeah, but you couldn't like get out of the case to fence it or anything. But yeah, you could. But the, it was expensive to rent the systems. But then they would always like new releases. They would always have like freaking ten thousand new copies of whatever movie. You know, people wanted to you watch. Have Ten thousand, but yeah, it was a lot. You'd you have know. several copies. You'd so have you had a, a wall. You had a shot at it. And um, then they had the back area. We weren't allowed to go back unless you're eighteen. The back area, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never, I've never been there. I don't know. I don't oh, think I that was. I that was wasn't Blockbuster. That was because Blockbuster was owned by the Mormons. I think. Oh, there Blockbuster. Were other, oh, yeah, other video. like family video. I'm talking <laughs> about video stores in general. Yeah. They always had the back area that you. Uh, West Coast Video, I remember, had, would have velvet curtains. I think they had velvet curtains on, and you'd go in the back room. Uh -huh. And that was always by like the anime was suspiciously close to the velvet. Curtains. We didn't have Blockbuster here, so I don't. I didn't. I, I only was been in Blockbuster a couple times. We just had you know other other chains. Yeah, I mean it was all kind of the same thing. I mean actually the, the except we had the black back room and Blockbuster yeah, didn't. Blockbuster didn't. But they blocked um, that. Maybe the new Blockbuster will if it's not owned by. Maybe the Mormons. we should call Ballbuster instead. Ballbuster video. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so let's talk about Blockbuster coming back because I actually, I actually be okay with it. Because here's the thing: even with streaming, it's kind of overwhelming. It's kind of nice to be able to walk into the store and like pick up the case and flip it over and be like, "Hey." It was kind of overwhelming then, though, too, because like you walked in and back then you had like you know what was on TV, and, yeah. you know, and then you walk in there and there's like choices galore. It was a bit overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that. And I'll, I'll tell you my story again for those of you who missed the live Oh, your car caught on fire? Yeah, we almost burned down a Blockbuster video. Yeah. Um, yeah, I almost burned down a Blockbuster video when I was like 19. So we'll, we'll talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Almost 300,000 subs. Uh, we are not on VHS. Although I have, I have said to you before, if we would ever do like a pilot for Shadowbinders mm -hmm. or something, I'm like, we need, we need to do it on VHS. He has said that multiple with the, times. the case that looks like a '90s, like I, oh my god, that'd be awesome. Look like an old. He ADV. has said that for a while, so you're ahead of the curve again. I'm ahead of the curve. No, it might be possible. There we go. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a Shadowbinders OVA, and we're gonna sell it on VHS just because you're shaking your head. No, I'm just no, I'm just no, not not no, just you're like you know because it's you you're saying it again, and I'm just like and then we'll go. release the soundtrack on vinyl. There you go. And maybe eight track. Just because we can. Cassette tape. We do it on a cassette. Anyway. I'm not 8-track, no. Uh, Market Watch. Is Blockbuster really coming back? So this is, yeah, this is a couple days ago. Um, it said, visit to blockbuster.com. Now directs to a message reading. We are working on rewinding your movie. And on a mobile site, be kind while we rewind. So let's let's open up and see. Yeah, I heard about this from the kids, actually. Yeah. Be kind while we rewind. There it is. There it is, guys. Blockbuster video but stores. But no idea what it actually means, right? It says Blockbuster video stores and on-demand movies. Um, I think that's cool. I mean, like I said, our, our my kids were excited about it. Our kids, they're your kids too, I guess. You guess today when they're when they're good, they're mine. When they're bad, they're yours. <laughs> so I hope they're mine. 
They kind of look like They look like you. There's no way they're in somebody else's. Um, anyway, uh, the chain uh, crowded out by male movie rentals. Uh, yeah. And then uh, streaming such as Netflix went bust some 10 years ago. Some notable franchise blockbuster stores, essentially community fixtures remained open for a few years longer, including the last store in Oregon. Price tag of $320 million. Dish Network bought it. Uh and it was in bankruptcy, and they closed all the company-owned stores by 2013. So we're talking 10 years. So no Dish has it still. Yes, they have it. Fondness for Blockbuster. Here we go, guys. Oh, maybe this is a TikTok Yeah, Gen thing. Z obsession. I'm telling you. These kids are obsessed with the 80s and 90s. They, they brought back vinyl. They can bring back Blockbuster. Fondness for Blockbuster in the days of VHS tapes and their offspring DVDs and Blu-rays has increased in step with middle-aged nostalgia and a Gen Z obsession for many things 80s and 90s. Yeah, usually they're finding, it in some, finding some way to, to fuck it up, but yeah. <laughs> in fact, last year, uh, proving that irony isn't dead, streaming giant Netflix released a now-canceled sitcom based right. on employees. Which really was like salt in the wound. It was. It was they like, were like a big reason why they went under. Netflix helped kill Blockbuster, yes. Company's single remaining real life store, still operating in Oregon, has become a popular attraction, and it was even an Airbnb listing. I would, I would go, I would stay there. That's I weird. would. Uh, an official what blockbuster. What are doing with the DVDs when they're they're staying there? Were they rubbing them on? Wait, what? Nothing. So there was this article flowing around <laughs> saying that they're gonna they're gonna open in LA and San Diego for the hipster crowd. You get all the way about like this is April Fools. Uh, none of this is true. None of this is true. But Market Watch seems to think it is true. Well, not that part, but that they're bringing it no. back in some form. They're going to bring it back in some well, form. Well, you said that, the, that it said that it would be like on demand type stuff. Yeah. Um, I could completely see them doing it. I could see that maybe not VHS, but Blu-ray. Uh, I could see them having like movie memorabilia because, you know, FYEs are going out. All the mm -hmm. mall stores are going out. Hey, Toys R Us are talking about bringing Toys R Us back again. I know that was that. That just pisses me off. They got rid of all those people because the whole thing was just a tactic to get rid of everybody. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I, I think it is very, very possible that they could bring Blockbuster back in some form or watch it be like, oh, we're going to bring Blockbuster back. But we're going to we're going to put it inside Walmart's. You know, you're gonna have a blockbuster kiosk inside Walmart next to the subway. I'm not sure. I think about it. I think it's feasible given the amount of nostalgia and these. And they really are like obsessed with the 80s and 90s. These kids are. Um, they were actually there, and they treat us like shit. But you know, I can see it because they're interested in that stuff. But I'm also like, that's just like a to go. It have to be something different because you're not gonna open all the stores again and everything else. It's that would be stupid. Yeah. So I don't I don't know where this is I, going. I think they I think I don't they're know where crazy. This video's enough. going either. Well, I think they're crazy enough to do it. I, I think it might actually happen. Well, okay, so I'll tell you where this video is going. I'm gonna tell you about the time I almost burned down Blockbuster yeah, Video. Yeah, that's true. And I don't know if I I think I mentioned it in a live you stream. You did before, mention it once. But we have a lot of people. So back in the day when there were lots of Blockbuster videos, and this was one particular Blockbuster video in Pennsylvania, and I pulled my shitty car into the parking lot and I was gonna look for some anime, but I noticed that the Is that where your friend worked? Uh, no, he worked at a, a Fox video, which was, oh, Fox they, video. they had a back room. I'm pretty sure. Okay. But not blockbuster. So I was looking for my anime fix. Cause pretty much every weekend I'd go over to anime. Cause I was a nerd. That's okay. And I pulled my shitty car and I pulled my shitty Chrysler into the parking lot. And I noticed that the, uh, engine overheating light was on. I thought, well, maybe I forgot to put some antifreeze in it and whatever. So get a car and this particular car was a New Yorker. It was an old New Yorker and it talked. It had that voice chip. It's like, your engine is overheating. Your engine is overheating. Beep, 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 beep. And then it just stopped. I'm like, oh, hey, it must be pretty serious because it just killed the robot in the car. Went around, popped the hood. Oh my God, my engine's on fire. My engine is literally on fire. This is not something that any teenager is prepared for when you pop the hood and the freaking engine's on fire. So I run inside the Blockbuster video. And there's smoke coming out of my car. And I, I'm like trying to be very calm. And I go to the manager dude and I'm like, hey, do you have water? Do you have like a bucket of water? Dude, what you need the water for? And I pointed, I pointed out the window to my car and I said, because my fucking engine is on fire and it's going to burn down your store because the car is going to blow you up. You should have said that. Can I get a fucking bucket of water to put my car now out? You'd be arrested for terroristic threats. Well, funny you mentioned that. I know. So it, it, it got worse. So I get the bucket of water. He gives me the bucket of water. Well, because I said, basically, Blockbuster is going to blow up. 
I think he met, he thought I said, I'm going to blow Blockbuster Video up. Because I was getting very irate with him because this guy was like stoned off his Gordian and what the hell I was I'm just I just need a bucket of water. Put my car engine out. So he called 911. And they called the police. They called the fire department. And they called the bomb squad. Yes, they called the bomb squad on me because the freaking car was on fire. So the good news is they put the fire out. The bad news is my car was totaled because they came in and they cut all the wires and they foamed it down and they, so the blockbuster stood for another, you know, 10 years or so until it finally went out. But who's laughing last? I'm, I'm still here and blockbuster's gone. Well, they now bet, they're coming back. <laughs> now they're coming back, the bastard. So yes, that was the end of that car. And I almost blew up Blockbuster Video, and the police had questions for me, and uh, it was a very awkward day. What were the questions? Um, did I do it intentionally? Was I going oh, to? Oh, I didn't know the police asked you questions. Yeah, I they didn't were know asking that part. me questions, and they were like, hey, kid, hey, I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to call a tow truck or something to get your car out of here, but you got to get out of here within the next hour or so. We're going to find you. Yeah, it was a very bad day. It was a very bad day, and I didn't even get any anime that day. I didn't rent anything that day. All I got was my did car. Did you come back? Yeah. And they realized you weren't trying to blow them up? Yeah, the guy, he was a manager. He made some jokes. Actually, I think I applied for a job there like a year later. And he was like, oh, you're the guy who almost blew the store now. Uh, anyway, so that's my Blockbuster video story. So, um, you know, hopefully they come back and nobody tries to blow them up. Okay. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yeah, we could uh, wrapped it up a while ago. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, rants, and old man stories. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.